Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and look at the streamer apps. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the uh, grab the Roku Ultra Remote. Let's switch over to the Roku. Uh, we're going to go ahead and launch the TiVo app. Fire that up. We've got live TV. What to watch? Kind of the familiar TiVo user experience for menu. Um, go ahead and bring up the guide. Switch over to different program. Uh, we've also got kind of the mini guide. Switch over to a different channel. Uh, so kind of the familiar TiVo look and feel. menu, integration, on demand, what to watch, live TV, etc. Okay, let's go ahead over to the Fire TV. So go ahead and grab the Fire TV, hit home, switch over to the Fire TV, go ahead and fire up the TiVo app. In this case it was set up that it could be third-party branded. Um, similar TiVo experience for look and feel. Go ahead to live TV. Um, same kind of familiar mini guide. Um, go ahead back to the menu, my shows, what to watch, the guide. Um, go ahead and you know, surf through the guide. Switch over to a different program. Pretty straightforward. Now let's go ahead and grab the um, Apple TV remote. Go ahead and bring the menu up for Apple TV. Let's go back to the main menu so you can see this is actually Apple TV. Okay, so we've got our Apple TV. In this case, we have TiVo app. Um, on this particular one, for some reason, the posters aren't loading. Oh, and it was paused. The uh, TV was paused. Um, now I'm kind of sliding using the, using the remote to slide. I'm gonna switch to a different channel. Then we can rewind, fast forward bring up uh, the guide, kind of scroll through the guide. You can see there on the We also have options to bookmark, create a one pass, all those kinds of things.